Hey everybody, it's Josh or Russell Custom Cranks. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how I paint a bluegill pattern on this um, little minnow bait. It's like a probably two and a half, three inch minnow um, style lure. So the colors you're going to need are opaque white, flame orange, uh, red oxide, opaque yellow, uh, pearl lime, detail sepia, and transparent uh, bright green. And also I'm going to be using this mesh I got. Um, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics, one of the two. Um, I went ahead and put a base coat of white on it. So uh, stick around, we'll get to painting this. Okay, everybody, so I have the flame orange loaded up in the airbrush. And we're going to, going to give a coat of orange to everything except the belly. So let's go ahead and do that. So everything's been coated other than the belly. We're gonna leave that white for now. So the next color we're going to use is red oxide. And we're gonna paint right here where the hook hanger is on the belly and up into the, like the throat of the bait. So let's go and look. Okay, so now I have our red oxide loaded up in the gun. And we're just gonna spray the uh, breast and up into the throat of the belly. thing I like to do is kind of you see I was kind of jerking my airbrush back towards me um, and that's to get a little bit of the overspray going up into the white it fades it really nice when you do that so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take opaque yellow and we're going to spray it on the uh, shoulders and the spine of the bait. So let's get that loaded. Okay, so I have opaque yellow loaded up in the gun and we're gonna spray it along the spine and a little bit of the shoulders of the bait. Now that that's done, we're gonna take some of our pearl lime and we're gonna go over the yellow um, that we just did, but we're gonna leave a little bit of the yellow. So let's do that real quick. Okay, I have our pearl lime loaded up in the gun now and we're gonna go over some of the yellow that we just put down, but we're gonna leave a little bit of the yellow also. So let's do that. Okay, there's what we've got so far. Now the next thing we're gonna do is put this uh, ribbon around it. And it has like a nice scale look to it. And then we're gonna go over that with our detail sepia. So let's get on with it. Okay everybody, I have the ribbon on the bait and I have uh, detail sepia loaded up in my airbrush. Uh, so now we're gonna lightly go over the bait. And now with this stuff, um, it darkens up pretty quickly. So I'm only gonna make a couple passes on it. And I'm mainly gonna keep it on the shoulders and let the overspray kind of work down onto the side of the bait. So let's do that. So let's heat set this and uh, we'll get back. Okay, so this is what we have right now. 
I went ahead and just took the masking off and then uh, put more sepia on the back. So now I have um, transparent bright green loaded up into the airbrush. And around the tail and a little bit of the shoulders, we're just gonna give a little bit of green or green touch to it. We're not putting much on there. Just enough to start seeing the greens. Okay. So now that's done. You can start seeing a little bit of the green on the shoulders, but not much. So the next thing we're gonna do is work on the gill detail and uh, put some eyes on it. So I forgot to add three colors to um, what you're gonna use today. The first one is gonna be Wicked Jet Black. Uh, the next one is gonna be opaque sky blue and then we're going to use white again uh, so i have some black loaded up in the gun and we're just going to go around the eyes and the front of the gill and a little bit of the snout and just fade the black into the uh, sepia that we put down so let's do that Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is that secondary gill. We're gonna go and put down a base coat of white. Then we're gonna hit it with some sky blue and that'll give be the blue gill. So I'm gonna heat set this black and I'll get back. Okay, so now I have some just regular opaque white loaded up in the gun. We're gonna uh, hit the lower part of this gill with some opaque white and then we're gonna hit it with some sky blue. So on this side, I got up a little up into the belly, but that'll be all right. It'll still look good once I'm done. So the next thing we're gonna, get, gonna do is over a little bit of that white, we're gonna spray some opaque sky blue. Okay, everyone, so my airbrush gave me some fits while I was spraying on this sky blue. So this is what we have so far. Sprayed on the lower part of each gill. And now what we're going to do is come in with some regular black and we're going to touch up around um, the front of the blue, the front of the blue part of the gill and, uh, you know, mix it with the black that we already have. So let's do that real quick and then I'll show you what, we're, what we have. So let's heat set this and then we'll put some eyes on it. Okay, everyone. So the last step uh, I went ahead and did off camera, I just um, super glued some red eyes on and then took the tape off the bill. Uh, I absolutely love red eyes on any type of blue go pattern. Now, I know this isn't the most realistic looking bluegill, but um, this pattern, I mean, I did it in less than 10 minutes or so. Some of the other bluegill patterns on YouTube are, you know, pretty, uh, pretty long and drawn out in my opinion. So this is just quick and dirty bluegill pattern and it looks a lot better in person. It's starting to get dark here. 
Um, so my lights, my lighting's not the best. So I'm gonna try to get some good still pictures for you guys, but. But tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Also follow my Facebook page, Russell Custom Cranks on um, Facebook. That's where I post all my lures for sale and I've got a little little thing going on Facebook. I do giveaways and um, you know tips and tricks and stuff like that. So, all right, tell me what you guys think. Bye.